This video will explain how to prepare a 3D model for texturing and how to apply a texture back to the 3D model in the program 3ds Max. So I've created a 3D dumpster here and what I want to do now is actually be able to texture this dumpster and I'll do this by actually unwrapping my UVs or the actual coordinates of my 3D points on my object from a 3D space flattened down into a 2D space to then be exported out as a 2D image and to be able to be textured in a 2D program, 2D paint program. So after I finish the texture, I'll then import my 2D image of my texture or my color or diffuse map back into my 3ds Max program through the use of the material editor and apply it back to my model. So before I actually do any unwrapping here, what I want to do is actually uh, work just by the objects. Since uh, I have several objects in my scene, um, I want to be able to just unwrap one object at a time. It would be easier to focus and understand what I'm doing if I just use one object at a time. So I just want to select my base object and right click over that and choose hide unselected so I'd just be able to see this and also what I want to do first is actually come in here and create some selection sets or selection IDs to make it easier to select certain parts of the model that I know I want to be grouped or unwrapped together so if I go under face mode and an area that says polygon material IDs I want to be able to use this section to select certain areas to be, make it easier for me as I'm unwrapping my model later so I'm move to my left view and I'm going to come in here let's turn on my wireframe by hitting F4 and select my front faces let me deselect these side faces here because I just want to have my faces selected in the front and under my polygon material IDs I want to change my set ID from 1 which it should be as default for all of your faces to set ID of 2 and I want to hit enter to make sure it selects just those and I can test this by deselecting all faces then under it says select ID I type in 2 and hit select ID and it should select just those faces so one thing to do to, before we actually make any more mistakes in case that happens is to choose the ignore back facing and that way if I just drag select whoops if I just drag select over some faces it won't select anything behind that it's a way of kind of covering over your model to make sure you don't mess up uh, later on so also I need to go through and unwrap the rest of this or actually just make the selection sets for the rest of this so I'm going to come in here and select the bottom ones here on the bottom side of the face let me alt select the click off of the sides so I just want those bottom faces and if I miss some then I can come back and select those and I want to change this selection set to 3 so if I choose set ID and me hit enter to save that that should save those let me go to that left view again and I'll choose the back side now hold down alt to deselect those and I'm going to make sure it selected everything miss this row over here too and let's change this to selection set 4 and hit enter so what you're going to want to do is go through and do this for every side, every part that you want to be separate. So this whole side of the face, I would create a new set for that. So set 5, set 6, and then probably each handle over here would be a set individually. So 7, 8, and then 9 for the top of it, where the little lip of the dumpster goes. So but at the same time, we'll go ahead and talk about the next step, which is actually going back out of subcomponent mode into the basic edit poly mode or the object mode and go into the modifier list and applying the unwrap UVW modifier so there's several other ones down here but the one we want is the unwrap UVW modifier so that applies a wrapping method or unwrapping method to allow us to be able to map our faces however we want to so what I want to do is choose the map channel here excuse me not the map channel but uh, if I move into face mode, so unwrap UVW has some similar subcomponents just as editable poly does. So I have face, edge, and vertex. This allows me to be able to edit these for more detail. But if I go into face mode here, I'm going to choose the select mat ID, not the map channel, but the mat ID. So if I choose this, if I type in 2 there and choose select mat ID, it should select those faces with that ID channel 2 that I had earlier. So this would be an easier way to be able to go through if I hit 3 select ID, that's just like the bottom faces four select mat ID, and that's just like the back faces you can continue on through the rest of them. If I want to do two 
go back to select ID. I'm going to go to map map this front faces all together so I can text so I can texture this a little bit easier. So if I scroll down here under my unwrap UVW, where it says map parameters, I want to choose planar, but I also want to make sure it's on the the correct plane. So uh, in my unwrap UVW, once I have something selected, it'll show a yellow box on the outside, and that should just show me the actual angle that I'm doing here. So if I change it to X, Y, or Z, it'll change that direction, which is clearly be able to show me which map I'm doing. So if I choose Y, then I'm going to choose quick planar map. That'll allow me to be able to map this channel how I want to, or this ID. I want to go to my 3 ID, click select mat ID. I'm going to come down here and do the same thing. And so this time I need to go change my map uh, angle here. So let's move this to the Z axis. So it would be horizontal with that axis. There's the yellow box. Choose quick planar. Scroll back up. Let me go to do 4. Select mat ID. Go back down. And I want to change this back to the Y axis. Choose quick planar again. So you want to continue on do this with all of your faces. So then I want to come up here to actually my UV map and editor, which is under the parameters section. It says edit. Which will pull up my edit UVs menu here. So it's a little bit confusing. They're all right on top of each other if you don't uh, move these right away. But that's no problem. So I can come over here and select the face, but it'll be a little bit harder for me to be able to select the channels that I had earlier. So I'm going to go down under my edit UVs menu, and it says select element. So now when I select the face, it should select that entire element. So this is my UV map and menu here. And this is actually my faces that I have selected. So there's my bottom faces. And this should be my back side faces. And this is my front side faces. So you want to come in here and unwrap each face. I still have some other ones I need to fix later. But you want to unwrap each side so it's easy to understand which is which here. So let me turn off my grid and my show map under view. So what I'm trying to do is flatten everything out from a 3D space into a 2D space. So after I've unwrapped everything so it's flat and easy to understand, I want to get everything into this left corner over here. And I've actually have had some already unwrapped previously. I want to get everything in this little bitty blue line corner to extrude or actually render this template out so I can texture this in a 2D program. So after, after I have everything in my model here, I probably need to get the scale tool and scale these in. I can rotate these if I want to. So everything needs to get into the top map here, and the rest aren't done, so you would want to map everything else uh, as well. So after everything's in the corner, go to Tools, Render UV Template. So now I need to set this option here and choose UV Template. You can change some of these options here, but the basic's fine. And I want to save this file out. Just save this to the desktop briefly as Dumpster UVs and save this out, change the format as well, change this to any format but a TIFF format's good and so some of these TIFF options here, okay that's fine so after you finish that you want to come in here and actually texture your 3D object and on a 2D program like Photoshop so here's actually my finished UV set so that's what my UVs looked at, look like all panned out so after you do that, then you want to texture your object. So your object will look like this. Texture it all out in a flat 2D space. So the next thing to do is actually just to import my textured file back into 3ds Max. So I'm just going to update my file here. So we do that through the use of the Material Editor. If I hit M to open up the Material Editor. And we'll just start with just this basic blend up top and after you've UV mapped all of your objects then we're able to use the diffuse node here and if I'm use the map button beside that choose bitmap click OK and I'm going to go find my map here choose open so now all I have to do is apply it to my objects so I select my objects and click assign then I also need to come over here and click the show map and standard view then I hit my render button and there's my file.